Welcome to Setting the Stage. I'm Brooke Savage. Nurse Con is coming to Orlando in a few weeks. Now you may be wondering why am I talking about a nurse conference on Setting the Stage? That's because it's organized by comedian Blake Lynch. You might know him as Nurse Blake on social media. He's here to tell us all about the conference and his tour. Blake, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks so much for having me. I'm so excited. So first off, we know you have an impressive story to tell, but tell us about your beginnings. Where did you grow up? Yeah, I actually grew up here in Central Florida, uh, north of town, so Lake Mary. Went to Millennium Middle School, went to Lake Mary Preparatory School, graduated from Seminole High School, and then went to college at Seminole State and UCF. Awesome. And so when you when you went to UCF, you graduated with your nursing degree and you worked in trauma hospitals across the country. So how does one go from nursing to comedy? <laughs> no, great question. And I think about this a lot because people always ask, like, nurse, comedian, like, how does that work? But I think nurses, we are some of the funniest people out there. Like, we've seen it all, right? Life, death, crazy stories, wild stories. So we have to use humor to get through that. So I think it was a natural transition. You know, I always joked with my patients and their families to make them feel more comfortable. And then I got to a point in my career when I was, like, tired and burnt out, and I started making videos. and nurses around the world kind of related to them in a way, so it made me feel less alone. And then I was like, hey, like I got asked to speak at nursing conferences and nursing schools, but I couldn't say exactly what I wanted to say, right? Because it's a hospital that would bring me on or a nursing school, so I had to be like very like PG. Mm -hmm. And my show's a little more fun, relaxed, you know, PG-13. And so I'm like, I'll do my own show. So I started renting out theaters in 2019, and now I've done almost over 200 shows. So, pretty cool. Have you always, in a way, had a passion for acting? Because I know you said you worked at Disney at one point, <laughs> right? Never yeah. like a passion for it, but I remember I started working here at Avent Health in ORMC when I was 17 as a patient transporter and a patient care tech. And one of the nurses was like, oh my gosh, like you should try out at Disney. You would be a great Peter Pan. I'm like, you're... No. <laughs> and I, I was bored one day. I went to audition, and I got to be Peter Pan at Disney for a year and a half. Wow. which is really cool. So it was an awesome job. My favorite part was interacting with the Make-A-Wish kids and families. I thought that was so special. But I also realized I don't want to work in pediatrics because kids are, they whine <laughs> a little too much for me. <laughs> so I've only worked with adults. Um, but Pete's nurses are really fun and cute. But yeah, I never thought, oh, I want to be an actor when I grew up. Or, or a performer or anything. I always want to be a nurse. Wow. Yeah. You know, I have to say, I can relate to what you're saying about what nurses deal with because in news we also cover a lot of bad news and tragedy and we do cope with it through you have comedy. pretty dark humor I guess. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so we definitely understand where you're coming from. So when exactly did you start making those videos as Nurse Blake? Like what were your expectations at the time? Zero. Like <laughs> zero. I was living and working in Houston, Texas at the Level 1 Trauma Center. What year? It's 2017. Yeah. I had a panic attack leaving work one day because it was like such an awful shift. And I got so depressed and so anxious and I was just like, you know, just at home watching TV and the scrub, or the romper came out, the male onesie. I don't know if you remember the mm -hmm. wild like male onesie. And I was like, oh my gosh, there should have one of those for nurses, for scrubs because it gets, if you're really busy, you can get hot in the hospital. So I made my own like scrub romper onesie and I filmed it by the pool and it went viral and all these local news stations shared it around the, the country. And that was my first like big video that blew up. And I didn't know that it would lead to more and more videos and me doing comedy, it was just fun, you know, mm -hmm. it went viral. Yeah, so that kind of like, that. so that sparked you to like continue making videos because I can understand that as well. I love making videos, but mostly it's just for me. I don't okay. expect them to go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't expect this to go anywhere either. Um, but I would get comments from nursing students and nurses that were like, oh my God, we watched your video in class after an exam, made us feel better. You know, we were having a bad shift, but then I watched that video and it made me laugh. So I'm like, oh, like it's not only helping me just relieve some energy and share some things in my mind creatively, but it helped other nurses and nursing students. I'm like, oh, I'll keep doing it. What is some of the other feedback you've received about your videos from fellow nurses? Because it is clear you have struck a chord <laughs> with an entire community, you know? I think it's very, there's like five million nurses in this country. And even though there's a lot of us, it's so easy to feel alone because nursing is so hard and challenging. We're short staffed, we're overworked, no breaks, no lunches. 
And what you realize with my videos and seeing all the comments is every nurse has gone through the exact same thing. Whether you work in Texas or California or the Philippines or Australia, like we all relate. So I think the coolest part is we realize we're not alone and we all go through the same. Exactly. And I also noticed another thing you do is you share like personal stories mm -hmm. from nurses. Yeah, nothing, um, anything anyone shares with me, it is now public domain. Even my family knows, like if they tell me something and it's funny, I'm gonna talk about it in my show. So I say no one is safe, no one is safe around me. So if you share a story with me, it might ignite a story, you know, that I've also experienced that I'll share. And my, my show is, it's over 90 minutes, it's just me. Um, I share stories about my life, nursing school, all real. Mm -hmm. It's called Shock Advise Tour because you will be shocked. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I feel like you've almost actually established your own category in comedy. Yeah, I mean, there's not too many other nurse comedians out there that are touring, you know, like who would have ever thought? Um, but it's so cool to see the community come out. Nurses come in big groups, groups of 30. They make t-shirts, they come in party buses, they laugh, they drink. And it's nurses of all ages. You'll have a 19-year-old nursing student laughing next to a retired nurse, you know, in her 80s. And to me, that's the most special thing about the shows. Now this question, I'm not gonna lie, is from one of my nursing friends. Okay. She was curious, do you yeah. ever worry if your videos will discourage people from being a nurse? Um, no, I'm just sharing the realities. You know, nursing is, it's hard, it's challenging, and I'm just honest and open with my stories. So maybe someone realizes that because it's orange out and nursing might not be for them. And that's totally fine, or it may not be the right time for them. So I never encourage or tell someone, go into nursing or don't go into nursing. You know, I'm just kind of sharing, you know, my story and my thoughts. And they could do what they want with it. You know, they can laugh about it, share or comment about it, but every person can make their own decision. Absolutely, I understand that. What can people expect from NurseCon? The Ultimate Nursing Conference. <laughs> I, uh, graduating in 2014, I was president of the Florida Nursing Student Association, so I went to many conferences, but they're all so boring, they're so stale, they're so stiff, and I was like, you know what, nursing conferences need to be more fun. But I didn't realize that years later I'd be doing my own nursing conference. So NurseCon, we do continuing education. We have a lot of nursing educators from all over the world come and teach. We do theme nights and parties, and it's the best conference you'll ever go to. Like we balance professionalism and fun. So you'll see me out there partying and dancing, me teaching education with our other educators. So yeah, if you're a nurse and you need some continuing education, you can join me in Orlando, September 22nd. That sounds like a lot of fun and also like a great break from it all. Nurses need the break. Like a lot of time, like our PTOs never approve for vacation, but what's so great about the conference is a lot of nurses can actually get it reimbursed where the hospital will send them to the conference. So get your hospital to come hang out and party with me at Universal for four days, you know? I was curious about that and how would they get the time off? So that is really cool to hear. It's a work trip, it's a work <laughs> trip. Yeah, so a lot of our guests actually reimburse. Uh, so we have NurseCon Orlando, which is our first land-based event. And then every year we also do NurseCon at Sea, which we do our conference on a cruise ship. So we have the whole ship, 3,500 nurses, four nights, it's insane. Awesome. Well, tell us more about your touring stand-up show. You talked a little bit yeah. about it. Are you actually going to be doing that at NurseCon a little bit too? I no? will. I'll be t I always test new jokes, test new material, and more relaxed and casual at the NurseCon events. Uh, but the Shock Advice Tour, this is my second run of it, so I'm, it'll be over at the end of this year in the States. It's my life and story. So I take our, the, all, all, everyone who comes on a journey from growing up to my family life to nursing school to life as a nurse. And it is called the Shock Advice Tour, so don't bring your kids because what I say is shocking. So it's definitely 18 and up. But prepare to laugh, have fun, and just kind of let loose and enjoy it. I do a lot of, uh, it's very interactive, so a lot of improv, audience interaction, and it's loud. My shows are so loud like if people don't realize like how fun and wild nurses are and then they come to the show they're like oh my god like it was crazy in there so i always love the energy 
That is hilarious. How do you prepare for a performance? Because I'm just thinking out loud here. You know, yeah. you, you're a nurse. You make funny <laughs> videos. You do a conference, but yeah. stand-up comedy is something completely different. I just have fun. Like, I, if at any point I wasn't having fun doing this, I would just stop doing it altogether. Same with the conferences. But I have fun when I'm on stage. I love connecting with the audience. Um, I love seeing them have a good time. So honestly, there's no pressure but to make people laugh. So I don't try to get in my head about it, you know. Do you like write note cards? Like take us behind the scenes. Yeah. How do you do, do that? So the show, it, I write it over a year. So I get um, some comedy writers to help me, right, that do stand up uh, because I'm not a trained stand up comedian, right, but I still want to put on a good show. I connect with my nurse friends, nursing student peers who help me like I have a show flow of like where I want it to go, but they tell me if something's funny, if I can improve on it. So it's about a year to write. Um, then I take the six hour show I wrote and take out the best two hours of it and that becomes the, the Shock Advice Tour, the Shock Advice Show. And were you surprised to see how in demand the show is? Because it started yes. out <laughs> like smaller, like not as many stops. Yep. It has grown a lot. And I was looking at your posts where you'd post the tour dates and people are like, why aren't you coming to my city? <laughs> it's like, at the end of the Shock Advice tour, I would have been to over 100 cities. Um, like it's 150 shows, because I did 100 shows last year and I'm about to do 50 this year. So it is a long tour. I hit any city with a hospital essentially, which is so funny. Uh, the people who put my routing together, they're like, we'll go anywhere there's a hospital because there's guaranteed to be nurses there and every city has a hospital. So. Yeah, so this tour will wrap up at the end of this year, and I have a whole new show, a new tour that will be happening next year. Is like your audience mostly nurses, or are there people who are not even nurses that say <laughs> they enjoy you? Are there people who are who work in other parts of the hospital? Do you get any feedback like that? Yeah, I would say they're about sixty percent nurses, and then the other twenty percent are other healthcare workers, so doctors, respiratory therapists, speech therapy, social workers, and then the last twenty percent are people who know a nurse. They they're there with their spouse or family member or friend, and they enjoy the show just as much. And I always make sure I always want to make sure the non nurses laugh just as hard as a nurses and they always tell me they have a really really good time because like if you're not a nurse you're still gonna relate to it because you, you've dated a nurse you and I'm sorry if you've dated a nurse because we're really <laughs> toxic and walking red flags but uh, yeah everyone there has a really really good time awesome and you know besides all that we've talked about you've done more stuff you wrote a book <laughs> and you also played a pivotal role right in getting uh, gay men to be able to donate blood yeah that actually started in nursing school so back in 2013 i was halfway through my nursing program and one of my classmates she has sickle cell anemia so she would have to be hospitalized all the time receiving blood transfusions so i went to go donate in her honor but i was turned away for being gay and at that time fda permanently ganned uh, banned gay and bisexual males from donating blood. So I was like, hey, I want to get that changed. Like, that's not right. You know, I have blood. I want to donate to help save lives. And it was a project I started and have worked on the past 10 years. And now gay and bisexual males can donate blood. So wow. really, really cool. So that was my first taste into advocacy and realizing that my voice has power to create change. And uh, even over comedy, I love advocacy the most. Like, I love telling nurses that they have the power to make a difference, that they have the voice to make a difference. So, you know, threaded between my show and all the comedy videos I do, there is that message of, you have a voice, you know, you can be hurt. Do you ever think about how you're paving the way? Because I do feel like there's not a lot of comedians from the LGBTQ plus community, right? There's only a handful of us, you know, and I never want to hide who I am. And my story is very much about me, right? This is my life. This is my actual life. So I, I share it all. I open up my journals basically and kind of share it all on stage. Um, what I take from my comedy videos that I share online isn't nearly as personal as what I share in the show. So it's always cool to be able to share that vulnerability and my real, you know, mm -hmm life on stage. Wow. Is there anything else you want to bring up about the conference or the tour? Yeah, if you're a nurse, you need a night off, come to the show, the Shock Advice Tour. You get tickets on my website at nurseblake.com. And if you need some continuing education, join us at NurseCon Orlando or NurseCon at Sea. And that's September 22nd through the 26th? It is. And then NurseCon at Sea next year, we're going to the Bahamas in April 2025. 
Awesome. And Blake will also be coming to Melbourne later this year. I'll post all the details and links that you need on clickorlando.com slash setting the stage. Blake, thank you so much for coming in today. Thanks I love hearing from you. Thanks for me, a fellow knight. Yes, yeah, I love it. I love it. Go knights. <laughs> yeah, charge on. <laughs> That's right. <laughs>